YouTube, what is up? Y'all already know who it is, man. It's DTV, and I'm back with another banger. And today, we got Shane Gillis, Trump bit. But before we go any further, I need you to do me a solid. If you could drop a like and a comment on this video for the algorithm, I would greatly appreciate it. But uh, y'all ready for this one, man? Let's run it, baby. Let's get it. Let's go. Like, I'll never watch a debate ever again. Can you imagine, like, just a regular debate now? After we witnessed, like, we witnessed the GOAT. <laughs> Undefeated in debates. And he never said a fact. You know how impressive that is? He was funny and he argued like a fifth grader. He was unstoppable. He argued like People a fifth grader. People try to hit him with statistics and facts. He would just go, wrong. <laughs> like, oh fuck, dude! I <laughs> Bro, I remember watching those debates and just laughing my ass off, man. Like thinking about it now, I should have reacted to like, I'm sure there were like, 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 like debate compilations out there. You know what I mean? Matter of fact, I might do that. Actually, I might still do that. Let's run it back. Let's get it. Statistics and facts. He would just go wrong. <laughs> like, holy fuck, dude! How was no one prepared for this? <laughs> Go back and watch those debates. You forget how how good how electric that shit was. Don't tell your friends in Austin; they'll be mad. Just get a six pack, toss on a Trump highlight video on YouTube. It's a good night, dude. Why? I went back. I watched his first debate. That's like my favorite one. At the time, Trump was polling at like less than one percent. Like he was, no one liked him. If you guys like him now, you didn't back then. And I know that because my dad, I watched my dad. My dad at the time, he would like, anytime Trump even came on TV, my dad would be like, get this fucking joker. Get him off the fucking screen. And then now my dad's like, you know, fucking guys can't go to the Capitol. <laughs> He's like, well, guys can't have fun anymore. <laughs> He's like, oh, shit. And it was because of the debates. That's what did it, dude. Yo, his dad went from full-blown, I hate Donald Trump, to let the man live, let him do his thing, you know what I mean? <laughs> He's like, and it was because of the debates. That's what did it, dude. That's how we got Trump, these debates. And the first one is the best one. So it's a Republican primary, everyone's up on stage, and they're all still doing their political shit. So like the first couple guys that talk are like, I'm from Kentucky, and I love education. And the crowd's like, nice. We didn't know what was coming. And the next guy's like, I'm from Georgia, and I love religion. And the crowd's like, pretty good. This is a good one. This is a heated debate. And then it finally got to Trump's turn to talk, and he was just like, Rand Paul is ugly? And the whole crowd was like, oh! We didn't know you could do that in this. You can just do that as your oh, thing. Shit. <laughs> and Rand Paul was like, all right, everybody, settle down. We're trying to have a debate here. And the whole crowd was like, shut the fuck up, Rand Paul. Ugly bitch. <laughs> and we just kept throwing dorks up on stage to make them debate Trump. And it was not fair. It was mean for us to have done that to people. These guys were in politics their whole lives. And they just had to debate a fucking maniac up there. <laughs> we didn't give a fuck, dude. And I hate to... <laughs> it was fun to cheer for him in the debates. It was fun to cheer for him in the debates. Because he, dude, he was going up against guys that had been in politics for like 40 years, and then he showed up to the event like, oh, fuck it, what are we talking about? <laughs> like, <it was> like, <laughs> he had no clue. Every week he had no fucking idea. There's one debate, there's one debate he's like in the middle of it going back and forth about the economy with Ted Cruz. They're literally talking about the economy, and in the middle of it he's just like, Ted's wife, ugly as a dog. <laughs> Yo, why does, why does he sound just like Trump though, bro? Listen to this. Of it going back and forth about the economy with Ted Cruz. They're literally talking about the economy, and in the middle of it, he's just like, Ted's wife, ugly as a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, dude. And Ted, Ted was like, I'm from Texas. You don't talk about a man's family like that. Like, You've got a dog wife, Ted. <laughs> like, Everyone knows. <laughs> oh, shit. Yo, am I tripping or, or is he like, is he pulling off that Donald Trump voice like all the way? Yeah, and a week later, 
Ted Cruz was on TV, like, I support Donald J. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, he bitched him. He bitched him into submission, bro. <laughs> I will say this. The one thing that sucked about Trump losing was, for me, was because I just figured out kind of how to do his voice. <laughs> Which, that's kind of a bummer that I just... <laughs> it's not hard to do Trump. It's very... All you have to do, that. Just do that. Do that a second off from where it should be in the sentence. <laughs> and then all you like, you don't have to sound like him. All you have to do is like get his cadence down. It's very easy. All you have to do is like describe something and then say you described it that way. That's it. It's every time like, if you, what a big room this is. I walked in here and I said, wow, what a big room. <laughs> 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 bro. I know you want to try it, but I, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. You feel me? Wait. That's it. It's every time. Like, if you, what a big room this is. I walked in here. I said, wow, what a big room. <laughs> <laughs> every time. <laughs> Austin. A lot of homeless. <laughs> I walked in here, I said, wow, that's a lot of homeless. <laughs> you guys got it, you got a lot of homeless. You gotta, what are you guys doing about it? Whatever you guys are doing is not working. <laughs> so just switch, I don't know what to do either. But do something. A lot of tents. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's been making me laugh thinking about Trump, like, not understanding why people are homeless. Oh, shit. I walked out, I saw him, I said, why? Are you <laughs> Living in tents, I could never, these guys. <laughs> but I will say this about Trump. I don't want you guys to get, I don't want to turn this into a rally. I don't want you to. <laughs> I will say this, and don't freak out. Just listen. I, will, I think it's fair to say that of all the presidents we've had, I think it's fair to say that Trump would have been the funniest one to see get shot. Oh my God. Oh shit. You know? <laughs> yeah, dude, the Patriots got fired up on that, dude. I was having fun at this show. <laughs> no, look, I didn't even say it would be funny. I said funniest. It's a huge difference. Technically, there's a funniest of everything. There is. It doesn't make it funny, but there is, like, think of the worst thing you can think of. There's a funniest one. He's not lying, bro. He's not lying. Something one. <laughs> School shooting. Oh, my God. None of those are funny. Zero funny. But maybe there was one where, like, the horse girl in the class like could sense something was coming. <laughs> you know what I mean? And they were like, what's wrong? And she was like, <laughs> like <laughs> you know? This guy's an idiot, bro. <laughs> but back to what I was saying about, if you had, to, what I said was true. If you had to rank them from least funny to funniest assassination, Easy number one. For real, he'd be he'd be talking shit like when it happened. He'd be doing a, like a rally. He'd be like, "My opponent's gay." <laughs> I walked in, I saw him, I said, "Wow, this guy's gay." <laughs> the shooter would be coming out, I'd be like, "Sit down." <laughs> You're gay. <laughs> get hit. He'd definitely make a funny noise into the like. He'd get hit, be like, "Eh." <laughs> God, bro. Ball funny. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I will say, I did, I did write that joke before Biden could be added to the rankings. <laughs> the bullshit. The I don't bullshit. think he would be the funniest, but the only reason Biden might be the funniest is because I think Biden's the first president you could punch assassinate. <laughs> you could punch assassinate. You know what I mean? Just walk. Hell, I'm falling and I can't get up. 
all the way, bro. Oh, it's almost done. Damn it. You know what I mean? Just walk right through the metal detectors and be like, Mr. President, what the fuck are you doing, dude? You... <laughs> it's a body shot. <laughs> Son. I rock. I rock like, with I'll Shane never... Gillis, bro. I rock with Shane Gillis. Sound off in the comments below. Let me know what is next from Shane, and I get to it ASAP. But, yo, I'm going to end this video right here. If you made it to the very end, you wrote MVP, baby, no cap. If you enjoyed this video, y'all know what to do. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, gang. I appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Peace.